Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be creating a ranging tool with uh, Bokeh. Let's get started. So first off, let's go on and create up a new file here. And I'm going to save this as um, a Bokeh Finance uh, Range Tool.py. Um, now let's go on and maybe grab some uh, some finance data. It's going to be kind of our first order of business. So import Y finance as YF uh, and let's do something like uh, data is equal to YF dot download um, SPY um, and I'm just gonna do the whole thing. Uh, you guys can pick any any data set that you want that's that's fine. It's not gonna really make much of a difference with what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna grab the whole the whole thing uh, so that we can really play with it later um, and let's go on and just so that you guys can kind of see what it is. Uh, let's do that and um, pandas as PD uh, so that we can really play with it. Let's run this and just see what it looks like. All right, so we have open, high, adjusted, close, close, uh, volume, et cetera. And I'm gonna, we're gonna plot the adjusted close today. Uh, and so also one thing that we need to do is we need to reset this index, okay, so that it's actually a variable for us so that we can uh, manipulate and play with it. So let's go on and do that as well. Um, and so data dot uh, reset index in place is true. Um, and now let's just, again, I'm just gonna rerun this just to double check everything. Um, okay, and so again, we have date. And notice here that they're all uppercase and there is a space in here uh, that we'll have to uh, kind of deal with whenever we're typing in the data. So um, I'll comment that out for now <clears throat> in case we want to see our data. Now, a couple of other things that we're going to need in here uh, is let's do uh, import. I'm not sure if we're going to need NumPy, but I'm going to put it in here and we can delete it later on for cleaning up. Uh, from uh, bokeh.plotting, uh, we're going to import uh, figure and show. Uh, from uh, bokeh dot layouts, uh, let's import uh, uh, column. We don't want to do it in rows, right? Yeah, we'll do it in a column. Um, and it's bokeh. Then uh, from uh, uh, bokeh dot models, we're going to import in here uh, column data source and our range tool. So we have our data. Um, now let's go on and uh, create our source. Here is our column data source in here. Uh, data is equal to uh, data. Um, hmm. Do we want to grab? No, I think that'll be okay. Uh, so let's go on and create our figure as well. So uh, figure in here, let's do something like our plot height is equal to 300. Our plot uh, width is gonna be 1000. Our tools that we want in here is X pan. So we're gonna want to be able to pan uh, left and right, okay, on the along the X axis. Um, then we want uh, tool, uh, toolbar location. We want none. We don't want a toolbar in here. X axis type is going to be a date time. Then we want our X axis location. Now here's the kicker. We want it above today. Okay, we're going to put it at the top because I'm going to have two uh, plots simultaneously stacked on top of each other, one where we're going to have a range finder in here, and then one's gonna be the zoomed in view. Um, and I'm, we need to set in um, an X range. Range in here um, is equal to what? You know, let's, mm, I'm gonna need, what? Uh, 
data uh, date. Uh, let's do fifteen hundred um, by data date uh, twenty five hundred. Um, and again, this is just kind of grabbing in a range. Um, I think I think that should be okay. Um, well, we'll double check. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure about that piece right there. Um, but we can we can come back to it if if we have an error. So <clears throat> the next thing is we want to make sure that we do a line in here with the date and the adjusted close. Source is equal to source. Um, then we have in here p dot y axis dot axis label is going to be price. Um, now let's go on and create up our um, kind of our little selection type tool in here. Uh, or our, I, I would call it more of a, a range pan tool um, a figure, but again, it's a selection of our data that we want. Uh, title is equal to, let's say, uh, drag the middle and edges of the selection box to change the range. Um, hmm. And this one, we need it to be just a little bit smaller. So let's do plot. Height is equal to, oh, what did I do up here? Um, 300, so we'll do 150. And then um, plot width is 1,000 because we want 1,000 because we want the same length. Uh, let's do y. Uh, range is equal to p dot y range uh, so that they are equivalent. Then we want x axis type again is still going to be a date time. Um, a tools is none. Uh, and then we want what our toolbar location again is going to be none. Uh, we want, uh, that should be perfectly fine as well. So now let's go on and actually create up the range tool itself. And that is a range tool. X range is going to be P dot X range. Then we also want in here a range tool dot overlay. Uh, fill color is um, we want to yeah, let's do navy because uh, we want some type of nice blue uh, range underscore tool uh, dot overlay dot fill alpha uh, is 0.2 we want it really transparent and then let's do select dot line uh, we want date Adjusted close source is equal to source because again it's the same uh, the same data that we're going to be looking at uh, select dot y grid uh, dot grid line color is none we want it transparent um, uh, select dot add tools here and we want our range tool. Uh, select uh, dot toolbar uh, dot active uh, multi is going to be the range tool. And then let's um, do show here our column in here. And again, we want P and select. Um, and let's run this and hopefully, nope. Um, my guess is that it didn't like our uh, data set. All right, so let's go on and um, actually fix fix this segment in here. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit. Um, Different. So let's let's give it a new a new name in here. Uh, let's call this dates. 
And same thing here. This is going to be dates. And again, that doesn't exist, but we'll go up here and we're actually just going to create it. And so uh, dates is equal to np.array in here of our data date uh, date in here. So that's actually going to just grab up the values. Um, and I sh think uh, we need to also make sure that our D types correct. D type uh, in here is going to be MP dot date time uh, 64 just to make sure that everything is peachy. Let's double check that. Let's run it. Excuse me. Um, doesn't have date time 64 anymore. Um, all right, let's let's mm, let's remove that real quick and let's just run this and see. Mm, it. Nope, still doesn't work. All right, so let's double check and see where else we're having some issues. Okay, so after just a quick inspection here, what we're actually missing in here is this tools. So let's go on and put something like uh, that in there instead of none. Um, and then we can rerun this. And we should, whoops, let me, let me pull it over to the right screen here for you guys. And come on over, Ayo, come on over. Here we go. All right, so and this is actually what our uh, last bit actually looks like here. So let me zoom in a bit and we can grab our selection tool, grab it and swip around in here and we can zoom in on these little bitty pieces and we can just kind of move around and take a look at the data. Again, this isn't very interesting data. Maybe we want to do like the, um, the returns or the differences or something like that, um, or percent changes, et cetera, to see what we're wanting to look at. But it, again, it is a very useful and easy tool to create. So if you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.